Hi, Dr. Milky back with another message about plantar fasciitis. Uh, cool September morning here in Wisconsin. Um, so I'm gonna uh, give you a few scenarios that I saw played out in my practice just this week. So patient came in with plantar fasciitis for two months, um, not a long time. Actually, that's really early for a lot of people, but it's great because um, actually she was there for a follow-up visit, had seen her a couple weeks ago and did a cortisone injection because the diagnosis was plantar fasciitis. I saw it on the ultrasound, x-ray looked great. And um, when she came back for a follow-up visit, she said, my foot's feeling 90% better. She's doing some stretching, wearing good shoes, not going barefoot at home, modifying her activity level, doing fantastic. Another patient, six months into treatment, and um, she needed shockwave therapy because she ended up with a small tear. She waited six months to come in. So that small tear makes it more difficult. No weight bearing exercise, maybe can use a bike, swim. Um, took some time, we tried a couple of cortisone shots first, uh, but just more time, more money, longer process. Yet, you know, she's getting better. Just, it, it took a little bit longer, but there's more to it. We needed to do an MRI and, you know, that's what showed the small tear. And then another patient who had plantar fasciitis for at least two years, and you know, certainly she came in saying, I'm not sure why I waited so darn long. She had a bigger tear, actually a complete tear of the plantar fascia, but yet no surgery, no cast. We started shockwave on her. She came back after her fifth treatment and after a trip to New York where she said she walked for four days straight. She said, wow, I did way better than I thought. I didn't have any setbacks, I'm feeling pretty good. And we did a six shockwave treatment on her and she's almost to the point where she's 100%. But again, you know, she really couldn't exercise prior to that. She couldn't be active. She really had to lay low. She always has to wear shoes in the home. Um, she, you know, a lot of outlay of money because, you know, a longer process. Um, so that's the very typical scenario when it comes to pain in the heel. Um, catch it early get it, the, the condition can get better quicker, less money, less downtime, wait a little bit longer and you know, more money, more downtime, more treatments, and then wait a lot longer. And the same thing, you know, more treatments, more money, um, way more downtime and just, you know, not fun. So, you know, we're in a society where, you know, DIY, right? Do it yourself. And yet when it comes to plantar fasciitis, I'm not sure that's the right way to do it. See you next time.